Alright, so uh, does anyone in here have any experience in music at all? Yeah? Alright, so just some people are going to be familiar with what I'm talking about today. Uh, we have some basic information that we're going to take in uh, right off the bat. We've got whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. The reason they're broken down that way is because between each measure, there is only sixteen possible options. You know, there's sixteen points of entry you can make on the E, the AND, the A, or the next B. Okay, there's four Bs per measure, which is the M. And then there's four measures per bar, which is that whole little thing that you see right there. So this whole beat is going to last, you know, for four beats. Okay, so you can put that in on our entry point. Actually, I got one right over here. This is beat one, right? So you actually count this out as one, two, three, but this is included as one. So it's one, two, three, four, and then you hold it until the next one, half note, and beat one, two. You got quarter notes. They hit on the beat. You got uh, quarter notes to hit on the B and then the and, you know, like so. And then you got the 16th notes to hit on the beat, E and A, beat, E and A. Makes sense, right? Yes. Everybody got that? Sweet. Okay, now this basically is considered 4 4. You know, me and my buddy over there were talking yesterday about 3 3. I'm not going to confuse you with none of that crap. Um, so looking at this board, you, know, you guys pretty much get what I just told you. Okay, we're going to do a quick little uh, demonstration of what that sounds like. So I'm going to put a metronome on. Okay, and we'll go ahead and clap this out. And then each one of those metronomes clicking is considered a beat. It's a little fast. But nonetheless, you'll see how fast the 16 beats really get going by the time we end to the end. So you guys want to try? Everybody else? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Clap on. All right, so <laughs> let's try this out. One, two. Three and four. So go one, two, three, four. One, two, and one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's easy. Okay, now we're gonna get the sixteenths. You guys kind of got, got that down, right? We got the bases. All right, sixteenths for. And 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 and. Now that's gonna bring some motion to your beat, right? A little quicker than the rest of them. Generally, we use 16 beats for things like hi-hats. Um, very rarely would you see a kick drum or a snare being hit at 16 beats per minute. Every once in a while, you will hear an instrument such as the piano being played that fast, though it is also very rare. Um, just to kind of give you an idea about how these things go together, I uh, marked up an instrumental. We're going to break everything down piece by piece so you can see how it all is put together. We'll start with track one. Just a little uh, kick drum, and then you got a little snare in there, right? Does anyone know where that's hidden? No? Okay, well, it's hidden on the bass. The kick drum's hidden on, <coughs> on the, the beat. Right. Yeah, he's, he's doing a whole note. Yeah, and, and the other one's hidden on hands. Okay, makes sense? Now we're going to go ahead and add another piece. Now we got some hi hats in there. Okay, now those are only eighth notes. You know, they're only clicking on the hand still. What's a hi-hat? Yeah, that's correct. That's a hi-hat. This one is a hi-hat. A hi-hat is, uh, say, say you got a drum set sitting in front of you, right? You got some cymbals on there, okay, and there's usually a set of them. Okay, and then on the side, there's a thing called a hi-hat. And actually what it is is two cymbals connected together. Um, that allows the drummer to go ahead and change the sound um, as he needs to kind of get some accent on, you know, individual beats or the and. Um, but a lot of times when it's going relatively fast on 16th notes, it's all going to sound the same. Um, so anyways, uh, we go ahead and just keep adding and then things start coming together on the beat. It's kind of crazy how each sound you add just kind of adds a little more to it. And we'll just drop some stuff in. Now that note right there here is kind of, kind of long, right? So obviously it's, it's really lasting the whole note, but sometimes you know, throughout this track right here, here it lasts a little longer than a full measure. Um, I got other parts hitting, you know, at, at quarter notes, other parts hitting at half notes. And then once you got the whole thing put together, it sounds pretty smooth, right? Nothing bad. 